exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here in the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Notre Dame All-American Dynasty here on NCAA 14 College Football Revamp. That is right, we are back and we are coming off of a, a very somber episode. We suffered our first loss of the entire series. This series has been going on for now. This is season number three. For two seasons, we were undefeated. Nobody could touch us. But then we went to Austin, Texas. We went down to Longhorn Country. And we took on them burnt amber, whatever their jerseys are even called. I don't know, an egg white. Well, I don't even. What, who cares? We took on the Texas Longhorns. And we got our teeth kicked in and we lost our first official game it was not a pleasant sight the boys played okay not good enough Manziel sucked in that game and Mariota did not do much better but at least he completed some passes I'm pretty sure Manziel didn't even complete a pass in that game or maybe he completed one I don't even remember but it was a it was a travesty and that's why in this game first big 10 game of the season I think is this first big 10 games? I mean, we might have had one at the very, very beginning, like week one. I can't remember, to be honest. But we're going up against Indiana. It doesn't matter. And Marcus Mariota is going to get the start. And depending on how he plays, he might get the whole game. I know we've been doing, for the first two episodes, we were doing Manziel first half, Mariota second half. But that that Texas game kind of kind of shook me a little bit. I don't know if Manziel is going to be the guy. Mar I'm going to give Mariota the start at the first half, and we'll see how things go from there. If you guys are excited, smash that like button, subscribe channel, join the Juice Club. Let's hopefully not go 0 for 2 in back-to-back -back episodes. That would be a real depressing scene. And we don't want depressing. We want happiness. Let's get it. So we're here at week number 3, coming off of our loss. We only fell down to number 5, which is not as bad as I thought we were going to fall. I think in the episode I predicted we'd fall to like 8 or 9, maybe even 10. Uh, but since it was a good quality loss, I guess you could say, uh, one versus two, we only fall to five. So that's not bad. There's still a possibility. It's a very, very slim possibility, but there's still a possibility we can make the national championship game if we win out and we get back up to the number two seed, because I'm assuming that Texas probably isn't going to lose the rest of the season, so they're probably going to be the one seed for the rest of the year. But there's still a slight possibility that we could make it back. We've got to play Indiana here. They've only played one game this season. They are 1-0. But like I said, I'm actually going to do it in the team management. I'm going to go to the depth chart here, and I'm going to make the move official in the actual thing, not just in the game. So Marcus Mariota will get the start over potential Heisman candidate Johnny Manziel. I know it's probably controversial, but that game against Texas just, I don't know, it did something inside me, inside my brain, that made me think that Manziel might not be the guy for us. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else to really, like, talk about or, or recap or anything. I did the, the main thing was was to talk about the loss. I mean, we could go over the Heisman, I guess, if you want to. I, I think Todd Gurley, yeah, Todd Gurley's still number one. And Manziel, with that horrible performance, dropped out of it. Uh, but if we can still keep Todd Gurley going, we could end up en eventually having a Heisman. I still contend that he should have been Heisman last year, but... Stinking Brett Hundley came in last week of the season and had a great performance and absolutely just stole it from me. But whatever. We move on. We play Indiana. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go get another W, and this time, let's make it a good one. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Big Ten boasts some of the most storied programs in the history of the sport, and the entire league rises because of it. Early season action in the Big Ten. 
That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Stadium, a.k.a. the house in Bloomington, Indiana, the battleground for these two teams. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Indiana versus Notre Dame. In Indiana, Bloomington is the site of this Big Ten matchup. Let's see how Marcus Mariota does with his first start of his career, actually. This is the first start he's ever had. I'm pretty sure, actually, no, it's not. It's not the first start of his career because he played, he started the game against Northwestern that Manziel missed because of the injury, I'm pretty sure, right? Am I correct on that? Maybe it wasn't Northwestern, but I think he started a game last season. That was his first game. Let's see what we can do here. Second down. Uh, I don't like anything here. I don't like my options. But we found Amari Cooper in space. That was a tight window that Mariota fit that ball in. And great hands by Amari Cooper. That was a risky throw. I probably shouldn't have thrown it, but I'm glad that I did because it worked out. And the question has to be raised. Could Mar could uh, Johnny Manziel have made that throw if we needed him to? That is a, a big question that we got to ask. Todd Gurley with a minus two-yard gain there. Well, not even a gain. A two-yard loss. Second down and 12. Not a whole lot of action here. I'm going to throw this on the run, and I, I why do I do that? I know it's not going to be accurate. I still do it, though, because I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. I'm actually going to send OJ deep, and I'm going to send Cooper for a slant, because I'm going to roll to the right side. This could work. This could work! Whoa, if that wasn't the fullback, that was Derek Watt. If that wasn't the fullback, that's a catch. I didn't think it was going to get that close. Oh, we got to go for it. You don't, we don't put the football on the channel. Everybody knows. We don't put the punt the football on the channel. You know this by now. Got to get that away, and that's uh, that's bad blocking from the offensive line there. I needed a second longer to be able to throw that. Okay. So we start behind the eight ball again. I think we did that against Texas too. That's going to be a nice lob throw there. And he's going to be brought down by Kavar Russell, the senior. It's going to be weird after the season uh, losing our corners that we have here like uh, Kavari Russell will be gone. Marcus Peters will be gone. We're going to be losing a lot of veteran veteran players in the secondary. It's going to be a little weird next season. All oh, Tree Robinson's on the move, and I missed the tackle, but we got a big one. Or I tried to get him. He actually broke the first tackle. Trey Robinson with the block, or with the broken tackle. Okay. So Indiana is making some moves here on their first drive of the game, unlike we did. I think I rushed mine a little, my drive a little bit too much. Oh, I missed it with Joey Bosa, but there's Landon Collins who forces a slide out of Trey Robinson, and he gets a yard. It seems like Indiana wants to go fast-paced. Luckily, we've got the athletes to be able to compete with that, but we just got to be able to get to the quarterback and not let him run. I feel like it's going to be a problem today if he's going to continue to run. 
They're gonna, yep, it's a handoff. There's Reggie Raglan, and he fights him down for a gain of one. Back-to-back one-yard rushes for Trey Robinson. They gotta pass it here, right? I guess they don't have to. They could go with a uh, another sneak, or not a sneak, but another play action or a read option or anything like that. And it's gonna be just a run with the running back, and Reggie Raglan's gonna, oh, it's Tevin Coleman. Reggie Raglan will deny him that, and they are in field goal range, but this is a deep one, even for college kickers. And you know what college kickers do? They miss. So here we go. Fourth and six. It's up. Nate Sudfeld's the holder. It didn't go through. Wow. That is as close as you're going to get in college football without that making it. How close was that? Oh, it's so close. If they were a yard closer, that would have went in. That is so close. I cannot believe it missed. Oh, I got a man wide open. He's beat his man. Dalton Schultz. It's a deep one. Touchdown, Notre Dame. He split the D and Mariota found him with a nice long ball. I got to give Mariota credit. He's got a better deep ball, a prettier deep ball than Manziel ever had. And we take the lead first. So despite our rough start, we end up with a nice little seven point lead to start the game. Only because Indiana was about a yard short of the field goal. Not even, maybe like inches. They were inches away from the field goal. Tevin Coleman kneels it down. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Notre Dame up 7-0. Let's see if the defense can do this. Come on, D. I need you to be impressive. Give me something that I want to tell the world about. That's going to be Tevin Coleman, Kavari Russell making a big time play. Second down and three. And they're going to run no huddle. This is something we're going to have to get used to in this game. I don't think Texas ran much no huddle. Maybe they did. I can't remember. It's been a while since I recorded that video. Maybe they ran no huddle. We got a QB spy out there, so he's not going to be able to run. We're going to make Trey Robinson. We're going to make him, uh, Trey Robinson, we're going to make him throw it. I don't know if he can beat us throwing it. Give me a little two-man under here. Third and three. I'm going to use our Joey Bosa here. Maybe we can get to the quarterback. Uh, I almost got to the quarterback, and that's Friend with a catch, and that's a big-time gain. Danny Friend makes the 24-yard catch. I almost got to, to Trey Robinson. I was so close. Bosa just needed to wrap around the corner a little bit longer, a little bit quicker, I should say, and we would have been there. They're going to hand that off to Thompson. Bullware misses the tackle. He slipped Bullware, but doesn't slip anybody else. Second down and eight. The quarter's going by pretty quickly. I do like that. All right, we'll go with another quarterback spy. You know how they like to run the with the quarterback here. It's going to be friend again. No, it's going to be a sneak. Or not a sneak, but a fake. And he broke the first tackle. Marcus Peters got stood up there. But he doesn't get anything. Reggie Raglan actually the man to bring him down. He had to, I think Reggie Raglan ran a long way to get there. I'm going to use her Joshua Perry here. See if we can push back the line. Reggie Raglan! He didn't get it. That's fourth. No, that's fourth and inches. That's fourth and inches, man. I'm not going to challenge it. That'd be a waste. That's upsetting. I cannot believe he fell forward for that. We stopped. Oh, I might have been offside there. Oh, I screwed that up. But Reggie Raglan, he ran to a brick wall. Just like, boom, his shoulder blocks him. All right, we're bringing a blitz. Got to get to the quarterback quickly. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Second down and five. It's going to beat to Tevin Coleman. He's going to get stuck behind his offensive lineman and get nothing. He got lost a yard. I didn't think he lost a yard on that one. Whatever. Third and five. They are closer than they were last time. So if they do ch get stopped here and choose to kick the field goal, they probably will make this one. That's what we're going for. Is Reggie Raglan got blocked. Uh, Joey Bosa. <laughs> that was so chaotic. I, I'm glad we stopped him. 
but I should have had the sack there, and he ends up getting a one-yard rush. End of the first quarter, we lead 7-0 over Indiana, but they're probably going to kick the field goal here. I would not be surprised if they kick the field goal. That was a hard hit on Marcus Mariota there. Oops, I didn't mean to pause it. That's my bad. Fourth and four. Here comes the field goal. Do you think he misses again? They're a lot closer this time, but it is a weird angle. Nate Sudfield, the holder. It's up. It's on on target. He's got that one. I figured I figured he would make that one. Seven to three. Seven to three. Notre Dame leads second quarter. Trey Wayne's to return this. I got a little bit of room. Oh, there was a slight hole there. There was a slight hole. I saw it. All right, let's try and get Todd Gurley some yards because he did not have a good start to the game. Got to get Todd Gurley his yardage. All right, at least he's he should be positive now. Is this going to work? He's got three rushes for two yards. Is somebody going to get open on this? That's a tight window. I shouldn't have thrown that. I shouldn't have thrown that. I thought that I might be able to float it over the top of his head, but he uh, he did a good job jumping in the air and getting that. I'm just glad I didn't pick it off. That would have been bad. I may have to take off and run this. Yeah, I'm just going to take off and run and get the first down. Oh, get out of bounds. <laughs> I didn't know which way to go. I wasn't, I, I was too hesitant to make a decision. All right, we got the, the first down. That's all that matters. Keep the drive alive. I have not been able to run so far in this, in this game. I know it's early still, but the running has been non-existent. Decent five yard gain. We got to make sure that Gurley has a good game because there's some good players out there in the in the rest of the country that want to take the Heisman from Todd Gurley. I know we're still very early in the season, but you never know what could happen. I got to get that ball away. That's Michael Thomas. He's been like my favorite receiver this season, and it hasn't even been like on purpose or anything. He's just he's been the guy that's been open. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give him a little taste of their medicine with a no huddle here. Make some hurry up action. He's playing soft, so we'll go Cooper there on the curl. And now we'll run it again. Make him think that we're going to run the curl again. But actually, we're going to throw it to somebody else. Or we take off and run with Mariota. And then slide down. There we go. That works too. I'll take that. <laughs> I'm not going to argue that. Let's go a little read option here. We've got 152 yards in the first half. They read Todd Gurley. That's what you want. Oh, I got some space. No, the D lineman tackled me. I thought I had some space to take that to the end zone. It was looking pretty good. First and goal. Come on. Punch it in. Just give me the blocks that I need. There's the blocks that I need. Todd Gurley gets the touchdown. And we add another seven to the board. All right, we're playing much better than we were playing against Texas. I guess it's just that level of competition. Good job, Todd. Great blocking from the offensive line, and he didn't need anything else. And Will Lutz, in his final season as well, we're going to have to get a new kicker. Will Lutz puts that through. And it's 14 to 3 with 305 to go in the half. We're gonna send this one deep. Tevin Coleman back to receive, and he will kneel it. As expected. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep Alright. Next drive for Indiana. Trey Robinson's in the backfield. He's gonna hand that to Coleman. I missed the tackle with Bosa, but. Who, who made that tackle? I don't know who that was. Was it Landon Collins? I think it was Landon Collins that made that hit. 
Second down and nine. I missed it just barely with Joey Bosa there. Let's be Josh Perry. Oh no, I missed it with Josh Perry, but Reggie Ragland's able to wrap him up. And that's no gain. Man, Reggie Ragland is a beast. I think it's his senior season too. Reggie Ragland is a dude. He's not just a dude, he is a dude. Third and nine. I'm assuming it's gonna be a run play. Oh, nope, it's a pass. They're gonna trust Trey Robinson and they... Ah, yes, he dropped it, thank God. I screwed that all up. I had the sack with Joey Bosa. I didn't dive because I thought that I was close enough to where I was gonna get him, like reach him and get the hit stick kind of, that's what I was trying to go for. But I, I guess I wasn't close enough, so I didn't get anything. And then it was too late for me to dive. Oh, thank God that the receiver, I think that might've been a tight end. Whatever it was, he dropped it and it makes me happy. Is that going to go back? I think I thought that was going to stop at like the one. All right. I will take anything that they give me. I'm still kind of upset that Derek Watt dropped that pass. That was going to be crazy if he would have caught that. If it wasn't, if he wasn't a fullback, he probably catches it. All right. Do you think we can go a little? A little sneaky here. Maybe send Cooper deep. Maybe send Howard deep as well. This might be a little risky here. Oh, it might have worked. It might have worked. OJ Howard, get up and get it. I think I might have screwed it up. I shouldn't have turned into him. I think I screwed that up. That could have been there. That very much could have been there, but I think I screwed it up. No, he got his hand in there. Good job from Jordan Wallace. I didn't think he had the speed to get the hand in. Don't worry, I'll call same situation. No, Mariota. <sighs> when am I going to learn that you can't make a throw like that in college, or at least with these guys? That's cost me twice now in this in this game. We're only in the first half. Oops, I dove too early there, and Landon Collins with the save. I think I hit the quarterback a little late. Yeah. I dove a little late with Sheldon Day. That one's on me. I knew that going in, but I didn't see the flag at first, so I didn't think they were going to call it or anything. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dive. I was just, I was so desperate to get any contact on the quarterback that I just went for it. It's going to be Tevin Coleman. And Jalen Smith holds him. All right. Great tackle from Jalen. Oh, they call a timeout with a minute 30 to go. This has got to be some sort of quarterback keeper, right? Maybe a read option play or something. That's what I'm feeling. It's going to be... Oh, they gave it to Coleman and Reggie Raglan. Explosive off the line. And it's third and goal. Can we get a goal line stand here? They're going to give it to Coleman, and he gets it that time. He got de destroyed after the, the fact, but he does get the touchdown. Oh, that one sucks. We had the hold there. Missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. That offensive possession that we had just wasn't good enough. And the bad thing about that is Michael Thomas had beat his man. But I was just I was on the run, and he was never going to complete that pass. Never going to complete that pass. Cut inside. Trey Waynes. Trey Waynes had something. If he had a little bit more pep in his step, he might have been able to cut that corner. Alright, they're playing really soft on Amari Cooper like they did the first time. 
but this time I missed my mark. Let me just throw that there. That's Michael Thomas. I'll take it. It works. That's what you call a completion percentage. Razor. <laughs> uh, what do we go with here? Let's go empty stick. Somebody's going to get open. Maybe it's Juju. Oh, that's a tight throw. Yeah, one foot was inbounds. Thank you, college. Thank you, college football. That was a tough throw to make. I'm surprised it was accurate. Let's hit the easy man. There's OJ Howard. Run through a dude. 45 seconds. We got all three of our timeouts, so we got clock manage it, clock management down. All right, now I'm looking opposite side. I'm looking Michael Thomas. I'm looking whoever's open there. Uh, it might have been Michael Thomas. Hit Amari Cooper. Call a timeout. Use the first of our timeouts. Second down and one. 37 seconds. We can run the football, too, if we need to with our timeouts. And that might be what I do just to get the, the first down. Might try and run this with Todd Gurley. Who knows? Maybe he breaks it for a touchdown. Or he gets up and does good. We'll call another timeout there. We still got one. 34 seconds. I might actually want to run more clock down. Just so they, they don't have a good enough shot at, at scoring again when they get the ball. Because they get the ball at half. Let's go read option. They read for Gurley. Okay, okay. Mario doesn't get anything. But we want to run some clock down. So we'll go with this. We'll go halfback sweep. This could get in. I don't know. This is a little bit concerning. Oh, no. It's it's in. No, it's not in. Gurley. Denied at the one, I think. Maybe the two. He should have had it. All right. Do we trust the run? Do I trust the run game? I think I do. It's Todd Gurley. He's a Heisman finalist. Get in there, Todd. Boom. Todd Gurley. Two touchdowns on the day for him. And we add to our lead. Ten-point lead now, hopefully making it an 11. That's exactly what we needed to do. Could he chewed a little bit more clock, but that's exactly what we needed to do. Score before the half and make sure that they don't score so that when they enter the second half, they're still down. And the kick is away. They're going to kneel it. So they'll have 12 seconds to do whatever they want to do. But this offense isn't very high powered in terms of like explosive one play touchdowns and stuff. So we'll see what happens here. 12 seconds. They're going to give it to Tevin Coleman, but Joshua Perry's in the backfield. And they are not going to call a timeout or anything. Joshua Perry blew that up in an instant. That's going to be the end of the half. 21-10 to 10 at halftime. I'm liking this game a lot better than the Texas game right now. Here we go. Starting the, the uh, second half, and I don't know why the kick meter just like disappeared on me but it's going to give indiana a huge starting field position great starting field position so that's not good <laughs> anything that gets me down on the eight ball it just it always happens to me i tell you what man 21 to 10 11 point lead for the notre dame fighting irish here that's going to be kevin coleman again and landing collins with a maybe a little bit of a horse a horse collar tackle but Maybe that was more. That's probably more shoulder pads. But we stop him. Second down and ten. It's gonna be a pass play. Reggie Ragland's in the backfield. Kavari Russell had it in his hands. Kavari. Oh, that's a pick six. Oh, Reggie Ragland has been a menace to society today. 
And it might have been a tag team effort right there, but Kavari drops it. Brick hands for Kavari Russell. It's a screen, it looks like. And it's completed, but it's going nowhere. Taj Williams got nothing. And we hold him to a three and out on the first possession of the third quarter. All right. Oh, I'm so upset that Kavari missed that interception. That could have been a pick six. He had daylight. Oh. He's a senior, too. He should have had that. Oops. Missed it, but we'll just, we'll just let it go. I, I thought that I had it. Okay. Now what we got to do is run the clock down. I know we're in the third quarter, and we just started the third quarter. But we got to take as much time off as possible so we can leave with a W. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to be. Gurley getting about three, maybe four. He's got 10 carries, 30 yards, and two touchdowns. We need to get his yards up. His touchdowns are good, but we need to get his yards up so that the Heisman voters think highly of him <laughs> and they keep him in the, the top of the list. Oh, uh, that's a good break, broken tackle there. He's got some open space around the edge. Todd Gurley down the sidelines. And it's coming back because of a holding call. Oh, it's not. A, it's clipping call. I should have guessed that. Holding calls rarely happen in this game. It's more clipping for some weird reason. And, of course, our first big, real big run of the game. First real big play. I mean, we had the huge... Uh, touchdown catch to Dalton Schultz, but our first real good run, and it's denied. Of course it is. Is he going to choose? This isn't a good idea. Nope. It wasn't a good idea. Uh, that was a combination of they got to the backfield really quickly with pressure and the fact that corners in this game and safeties in this game are like superhuman and can cover multiple guys at once. So if he plays the middle of the field, he can cover everybody. So I made the mistake of doing that and we throw the interception. But I believe in our defense. I think we are good enough to contain this Indiana team as long as they don't run with the quarterback that's really been our only kryptonite and there's Joey Bosa missed it but he dropped it oh it's Tevin Coleman who dropped right was that Tevin Coleman maybe it wasn't no I think Tevin Coleman's like in the 20 numbers in the 20s he said it was the running back must have been their backup running back Bosa should have like three sacks today but I've just missed every single one <laughs> And there is... Oh, he's wide open. He absolutely toasted his man. And Taj Williams gets the first down. I don't know if a linebacker was covering him or what, but he was completely by the man who was covering him. I don't like the sound of that. That's going to be play action. And they're going to give it to Coleman. Kavar Russell and Marcus Peters are there. No gain. He's got two catches for 19 yards. All right, we'll go with the QB spy again. I'm going to use her Bosa this time. Maybe I can get to the quarterback faster. They're going to give it to Coleman. Buckner's going to be there, and so is Bosa. And we're going to bring him down. Third and 10. Coleman has been non-existent, really, in this game. 12 carries, 8 yards, and a touchdown. Really nothing for him. Can I get to him? Bosa got to him before. Finally, Joey Bosa gets what he deserves, and it's a sack on the screenplay. They waited way too long for the screen, and Bosa was able to clip him enough. I'll take it. We hold another punt. That's why I was so confident in this defense. And with under two minutes to go in the third quarter, that is going to be caught by Trey Waynes. I'm going to roll to the left side. I got a little bit of space. I broke a couple tackles. Nothing else. All right. I had a little bit of space there. 
I'm just glad it bounced right to my hands, or right to my uh, legs. Alright, let's hopefully not throw another interception. I shouldn't have thrown that ball in the first place. I know better. Oh, Todd Gurley running through people. You love to see Todd Gurley when he's running downhill. Let's run it back again. Might as well. If it ain't broke. And he broke that initial tackle, but the, the D-lineman was there too quickly for him to, to get any sort of extra yardage. Let's go with... Let's go with the PA boot. I haven't run this very often. So we got Thomas and Evans and Cooper going deep. Okay. Uh, set my feet, find it, and there's Michael Thomas. I don't know why Michael Thomas has been like my go-to guy. He just is always open. <laughs> when you play in the slot, you just... You, my That's my first read for some reason. Under a minute in the third quarter. 11 first downs to their five. There's another big time run for Todd Gurley. Nine extra yards added to his total. 13 carries, 55 yards for Gurley. Ooh, let's go play action wheel. This could be dangerous, but I'm feeling a little frisky here. Uh, I shouldn't be feeling frisky. Just throw it away. I'm not throwing interceptions. I'm not doing anything. I shouldn't have felt frisky. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I'll stick to my celibacy. That was a bad idea. But read option might be a good idea. Especially on third and one. They've read Todd Gurley each time. And they're going to read Marcus Mariota this time. Of course. The one time that I... God, I'm so stupid. I am the dumbest person on the planet. I don't think I'm going to get this playoff before the quarter ends. End of three in Bloomington. 21-10. to 10, Notre Dame leads. Big Ten matchup here. As long as we win, I don't care how close it is. It could, we could win by one point. I don't really care as long as we win. Winning is all that matters. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to throw this. There it is, Amari Cooper. I was gonna run that initially. That was the plan, but uh, uh, I realized that the corner never really dropped back into coverage. He was watching me that whole time I rolled out. Luckily, Amari Cooper's got good hands. Nice balance offense today. 18 rushes, 19 passes, and there's good blocking. But he needed to break that tackle, Todd. Needed to break that tackle. If you break that tackle, that's a touchdown. Garen Teed. Touchdown. But no, you just had to get tackled. And you get tackled by the same guy again. Come on, Todd. What are we doing out here? What are we talking about here, Todd? Come on, you're better than that. You're a Heisman contender. 57 yards and two touchdowns is not very Heisman worthy, Mr. Todd. So he might as well get you some passing yards too, or some receiving yards, I should say. Receiving yards will look good on his resume. I'm not sure how many times we throw to, to Gurley. I don't really throw the running back very often. I mean, sometimes, but not as often as I probably should. Oh, Todd. Oh, Todd. I need you. And now you're hurt. Oh, it's just icing on the cake. You couldn't break any tackles, and now you're hurt. It's icing on the freaking cake. Whatever, Todd. I'll just go with Derrick Henry, the big beefy boy. Give me some big beefy King Henry. All right, I'll run some people over or not. <laughs> or I'll just get brought down. Come on, Derek. Don't make me look bad. Dislocated a thumb. He wasn't even holding his thumb. Uh... 
Do we kick the field goal here or do we go for it? This might be a kick a field goal situation here. Bring Todd Gurley back in. I'll kick the field goal. Well, this is a tough one. This should be an easy field goal. No wind. Just under three to go in Ooh. regulation. This is hard angle. Alright, I think I got it. Man, that was a tough angle to hit. I wasn't sure about that one. Michigan's beating Northwestern 52-17, to so that tells you how the Big Ten's doing this year. 24-10 <laughs> with 2.32 to go. I think this is a pretty solid victory, unless something crazy happens on this drive and Indiana just pulls out some tricks that we haven't seen. I don't envision that happening. 2.32 to go. Our defense has been solved for back-to-back -back drives now. Bosa, I got to him, but he just throws it away. I'm just so close. Just so close. 228 left. Second down and 10. Come on. Let me at him. Let me at him. There's going to be a catch. Kavari Russell. It's been Joey Bosa, Kavari Russell, and Reggie Ragland who have really been the three impact players in this game. There's been every once in a while somebody's made a big play. Joey, uh, Josh Perry made a big play. But that's going to be... Oh, Jalen Smith! He got the first down. I missed the sack with Joey Bosa again. Put that on a t-shirt. I just I keep saying that because it's, it's always true. I, I missed the sack with Joey Bosa. How am I supposed to be a D-line user when I can't sack the quarterback? Sheldon Day gets a gets contact on Trey Robinson, forces him to throw that ball an incomplete pass. Let's use her Josh Perry here. Under two minutes to go. It's second down and ten. We'll switch to Bosa. That's going to be a deep one. Marcus Peters drops it. Our corners have bricks for hands in this game. That should be two interceptions, and yet we have zero interceptions. Come on, team. I got a bunch of veteran corners out there, and they're dropping passes. We should be past this by now. Oh, Leonard Williams, no! Get there, Landon. Get there, Landon. Good job. Oh, Leonard Williams obliterated Trey Robertson absolutely smoked him and he was just able to get the ball off oh man i haven't seen a quarterback get hit that hard in a long time but leonard williams made him pay and he still had enough accuracy on that ball they give it to coleman kavar russell stands him up at the line second and goal minute 35 to go i'm assuming this is going to be another run it's not. It's a screen, and he doesn't. He just throws it away. Nine for 17, 144 yards, and no touchdowns, no picks. Is that a good game for Trey Robinson? I mean, they're gonna, they're probably gonna lose, so I guess it's probably not a good game. But that's that's a kind of an eh game, I guess. That's gonna be a nice catch, Gonzalez, but he's brought down by Jalen Smith. Fourth and goal. They gotta go for this, obviously. Come on, boys. One final play. One final play is all we need. We got a minute to go. They're going to give it to Coleman. Bad idea. Sheldon Day stops him, and we hold him. Why would they run it? They haven't had any success running the football except for with their quarterback in the first quarter. Other than that, they've had no success running the football, and they choose on their, their most crucial play to run the football. I don't know what they were thinking on that one. Then they're going to use their timeouts. Why are you using your timeouts? It's just a waste. <laughs> just let us get out of here. We don't. There's no need for timeouts. You're not going to win this game. Even if you were to cause a fumble and return it for a touchdown, it'd still be 24-17. You'd still be down. And Gurley, that's a face mask. 
Is that not a face mask? Excuse me? That's not a face mask? Whatever. That was clear. I guess not to the ref. Under a minute to go. They've got one timeout left. Now that we got the first down, it is game over. 53 seconds left in the game. 14 first downs to Indiana 7. And we are on cruise control. Give it to Gurley. Let him get as many yards as he possibly can. It's been kind of an ugly game. Indiana, I'll give them credit. They've got really good run defense. Really good run defense. Pass defense, not so much. But run defense, they've got solid. I have not been able to break off any crazy runs. And the one run that I did break off that was crazy gets called back for clipping. So... Gurley just fighting for any yard that he can get. He's got 21 carries, 83 yards, and two touchdowns. That hopefully is good enough to keep him at the top. I really hope so. Oh, there's a big time run. That's what we needed. That's what Todd needed. 95 okay if i can get one more run for about five six yards get him over 100 that would make it look a lot better his stat line would look a lot better with 100 yards and that should be five it's five yards exactly i'll take it 100 yards even 23 carries 100 yards two touchdowns that makes the stat line look a lot better triple digits looks a lot better than double digits i'll tell you that much and we get a W, we come back, we bounce back, we get a much needed victory, and we look good. I'm happy with Marcus Mariota. I think he played a lot better than what Manziel would have played. We'll keep him as the starter. I, I like it, I think our team played really good. And Todd Gurley did really well as, as well, even with that tough run defense. Stats on the day, Mariota, 11 for 20, 207 yards, touchdowns, and a, uh, one touchdown and one pick. I should never have thrown that pick, that one's on me. I hate that he has it on his stat line. Rushing, we saw the what it was, 23 carries, 100 yards, two touchdowns for Gurley. Mariota had six for 43. Uh, receiving, Michael Thomas and Amari Cooper both had four catches. 54 for Thomas, 58 for Cooper. Dalton Schultz had that one catch for 66 yards and a touchdown. That was crazy. He absolutely broke free. On defense, the story was Reggie Raglan, Kavari Russell, Joey Bosa. Main threats. Obviously, uh, Landon Collins was there as well. One sack on the day. We should have had like six or seven sacks, if we're being honest. But Joey Bosa has the lone sack, and we should have had two interceptions. Kavari Russell had one. Probably should have been a pick six, too. And then Marcus Peters had one late in the game. But we get the W. Much needed to go to two and one on the season. Bounce back after a tough, tough loss. And now we go on to the next week. Hopefully we move up to maybe four, maybe five in the, or four or three in the rankings. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But it's a good W. We return here week four, and we've got a massive game again. You thought one versus two was big, Notre Dame, Texas? Well, let's up the ante even more, because we've got three versus four, Ohio State versus Texas. Oh, not, Ohio State versus Notre Dame. We're, te we're Notre Dame, not Texas. Ohio State versus Notre Dame coming to South Bend. In the eyes of Touchdown Jesus, the Buckeyes and the Irish. Wow, what a game next episode. I hope you guys are ready for it, because I certainly am not. Todd Gurley stays as the front runner for the Heisman. Looks like we did enough to keep him there. And we have a head coaching upgrade as well, so we might as well do that before we end the episode here. <sighs> Buckeyes and Irish. That is crazy. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. I mean, we, we struggled so much against such a good team in Texas that how are we going to play against the Buckeyes? I know we've beaten them in the past, but this is a whole different ball game now that we lost. It is a, I, I might have lost my confidence. I don't know. But we got to have to wait till the next episode. That's going to be a big game because if we win, we might be back in the top two. I don't know. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. That's going to do it for this episode. We got a massive one next week. Or, we got a massive one next episode, I should say. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.